Let's have a look at how the DNS protocol communicates. Besides from DNS being a standard on higher level of the OC model defining data structure, it's also standardized on how to communicate on the transport layer, layer 4 of the OC model. DNS always uses port 53. Like most other IP protocols, it has a standardized destination port and a random source port. When a client sends a query to the server, it reaches out to the port 53 of the server, and when the server replies, it does this from port 53. Normally, most DNS traffic runs over UDP, but since DNS over UDP was limited in the amount of data it could be sent, DNS sometimes uses TCP instead. An example of large payloads is zone transfers, which we'll be talk about later. Since they contain much more information than a simple query and response, zone transfers goes over TCP. But UDP is good enough for most purposes, and since there is no overhead in setting up and tearing down sessions, UDP is faster. A normal DNS session is just two packets, a query sent from the client to the server, followed by a response from the server back to the client. We will take a look at the DNS session just to get a feeling of the simplicity of the protocol. This is a DNS query sent from my computer to a DNS server. The output is from Wireshark. And we can see on the first three lines that it is just an IP packet from my address to the destination server address, encapsulated in an Ethernet frame, and so on. But for this purpose, we focus on the transport layer. It is a UDP packet from a random port to destination port 53. The UDP payload is 34 bytes, and those 34 bytes contains our UDP query and is explained below. First, we have a number of flags. We can ignore most of the flags here, except for the first one. This bit is zero, and according to the specifications, that means that the packet is a query. Further down in the packet, we see the query itself. My computer is uh, specific in what it wants. It wants a, a record. Remember the resort record types in earlier lectures. A record is the normal name to IP mapping type. It requests an A record for the name nat0.net, and the class is IN. We have not talked about classes yet, but normally the class is IN, which means Internet. This is it. A DNS query for an A record of the name nat0.net sent to a specific DNS server. Really simple. So my computer sends a DNS query, and back comes a response. The ports are the same, but mirrored, as we can see here. The flags identifies the packet as being a response without any errors. In the response packet, the actual query is sent. And below that, we see the answer. The answer is that NAT0.net has an A record with the address of 46.21.104.50. In the answer responses, the server also attaches information about which DNS servers that are authoritative for the domain. That is, if my computer for any reason wants to verify this directly from the source, it could contact one of the authoritative servers specified here. This is all there is when it comes to communication. DNS is super simple, fast and efficient. As you can see, nothing is encrypted, but everything is sent in clear text.